What is crack lagging my dogs? Back at it again today with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Beach has been open for two weeks. First time I went, got skunked. There was like 900,000 people there. It was like 900 fishing poles. Everybody wants to fish now, I guess. Um, second time I caught a stingray. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that up now. Whoop. Drag was freaking retarded. Oh my God, it's a stingray. I don't get by it. Get it off. Huh? You see it? Huh? Here, hold this real quick. Let me get my pliers. Huh? That was pretty cool. Uh, today, I'm going to be going down to Palafox Pier and I'm trying to get on something, but I want to do something I haven't done. I'm going to eat some bait fish. Yeah, I'm going to eat some bait. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to catch some fin fish croaker and I'm going to try to cook it. Never had it before. Some people say it's good. Some people say it's trash. I'll be the judge of that. Alright y'all just got to the spot down here at the beautiful Plaza de Luna. Uh, let's see if we can get some lunch, some dinner, maybe a little bit of bait to eat. <laughs> Who knows? I'm gonna see you guys on the GoPro. Alright y'all, got the little high-low. We're just gonna uh, toss it out here a little bit. Let it simmer. Simmer down now, simmer down. Check my drag right quick. Way too tight. There we go. Should be good. Should be getting hit pretty quick, to be honest with you. But my other rod that I got is got a little paddle tail on there with a little piece of fish bite, crab flavor. See if that works. See if we can get something on that. You know what? I'm gonna pitch it over here next to this wall. Boom. Glorious. Uh, it, it. Bip, 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 bip. Dang, they're 
fast. Tear me up. Try that again. Round two. Round two, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yep, first penny. First penny of the day. What's up, Penny? I want to fillet you up, my friend. I hope you taste like a bluegill. If you taste like a bluegill, I'm going to be very happy. I don't know if you guys ever had bluegill before, but uh, bluegill is amazing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and throw him in the old cooler here. And whatever I don't eat, guys, I'm going to be using as bait. So there's number one. All right, let's try it again. Got one. Got him. Hello, penny number two. Hello, penny number two. What's crack lacking, my dude? Easy, easy. You spine me. You better not, that's all I gotta say. We'll get some nice fat ones today, boys. Look at that. That's going into grease, boy. You're going into grease. Go join your friend. Hello. Hello. Alrighty. This is what I'm basically doing. I got some fresh dead shrimp. Just ripping the head off. Ripping the tail off like that. Taking it like this. Breaking it in two like that. Since I got two hooks with the high low. You can take the, take the shell off if you want. And I'm just putting a little piece on there. As you guys know. A little glob of shrimp on there. Same thing with my other hook. Just feeding it along the hook. Like that. Bada bing, bada boom. And then, like I said, they're pretty quick, so let it drop down to the bottom. And on the way up, I'm already getting hit. And I'm pretty sure my bait's already gone. Yep, that fast. That's how fast I take it. Got him. Got him. Another pen fish. Another one for the collection. They've all been like slab pen fish. That good sized pen fish, you just poked me. You got me, dude. You got me. That's all right. It's because you're going in the crease. You're doing your friends. Doo -doo -doo. Water's choppy, but I'm slaying the pinfish over here. Got him. Oh, came off. Nope, came back. Nope, came off. Slaying the pinfish over here, boys. I'm the pinfish master. Got him. Oh, what's up, partner? What's up, partner? This is like the honey hole over here. It's another good size, nice, nice hand size. I think that's four, five. Five. Got five so far. Got him. There's six. There's six. Oh, came off. Almost stabbed me in my foot. Yeah, I see you trying. I see you trying over there, but. Another good size. Another hand size. Let's go! Size that boat out there. That boat looks tiny right now, but it's pretty far out there. That boat is a big boat. That boat is a big boat. It's kind of crazy. Hopefully it comes in closer to see it. Yo, bro. 
Bro, why, why you lurking, man? That's my bait. That's my food. What's up, bro? What's up, cuz? What's up, cuz? Where you going? Where you going, cuz? <laughs> he keeps coming over close to the shrimp. Get out of here, boy. Come on, I know you're here. I know there's more than six. Come on. Come on. Alright, there it is. Getting hooked. Get, getting hooked. Get hit. Getting hooked. Yep, got him. No! Came off. Quick little boogers. Quick little boogers. Got him. There he is. There. Ooh, he feels a little bit better. Another hand size. Another, another hand size fish. Comment, comment down, dude. Comment down, dude. I'm not playing games. Nice slab, Penny. Nice slab, Penny. All right. The bait, if I want to use one that's cut bait, but I want to have enough where. Uh, I can at least have a good amount to fry up. Yay! Soon it hits the bottom, they're already on it. Got him. No, we came off. Still got my bait though. Still got the bait. Still got the bait. We're good. We're good. We're good. Come on, there he is. Got him that time. Oh, oh, and he came off. I know, right? <laughs> They're quick. Them pinfish are quick. The old man just did a thumbs down. Like he saw it come off. He's like, no, that's all right. I got another one. Double up. Double up. Hello. That top one would be good bait. Oh, easy, buddy. Easy. You're going home. I need, I need you. Hey, don't spine me. Don't. Stop. Just stop it. You just stop it. Oh, look at his tail. He's been munched on. Someone's been chewing on you. All right, little guy. I guess I'll let you go. I would use you as bait, throw you out for nice redfish or something, but it's not what I'm doing today. See ya. Remember that boat I was talking about? Now that it's closer in, it's got like a tugboat with it. I don't know if it broke down or what the deal is with it, but uh, I think it's pulling in right next to this other big boat. So whenever it gets closer, I'm gonna go down there and check it out. Got him. Got him. Another one. He's a little one. No. Where are you going? No, no. Oh my God. Did you see that? He freaking just stole it. He just stole my fish. Oh well. He's hungry. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they, they know what I'm doing. <laughs> He's like, thank you. He's like, thank you. <laughs> oh well, I've got a whole cooler full. Now with that being said, you're not supposed to feed them. Just let, letting everybody know it's illegal. Yeah, it's definitely illegal, but that wasn't my fault. You guys saw, I tried to kick them from under here. 
from under the rail. I tried to kick him. As soon as I did, I didn't know he was behind me, and then whoop, got him. He was that quick. That's crazy. All right, caught another one. Forgot to turn my GoPro on. Timmy and Tommy. I don't know if you remember that episode. Freaking Timmy and Tommy's back. There's Timmy. There's Tommy. That's Timmy, Tommy, and then we got their cousin over here, Fred. Fred, get on out of here. You too, get on. Get. You guys are stealing my bait. <laughs> yeah, I can't have it all. I don't want to bore you guys, me catching pinfish all day, but uh, I'm in the juice. I mean, they are just stacked in here. Straight stacked. I'm not going to catch them anymore. I got a whole cooler full of them, so. But I am going to go home and try to eat one or two or 20. I don't know. I got plenty of bait now, that's for sure. My Carolina rig over there is um, not doing so well. I got some cut bait on there, but uh, it hasn't been touched. And I've been out here for probably, I don't know, two hours, something like that. And uh, it ain't been touched, so. Oh, I think I got one. Nope. He let go of it. Try over here. That's all I've been doing is just walking down here, back, back and forth. They're just loaded on this side. It's funny because I usually catch them on that side over there, but I think because, oh, there's one. Got one. As soon as I was talking, I got one. Just like that. Like I was saying, I, I usually catch them on the other side, but I think because the wind was blowing, blowing all everything into this corner over here. And uh, I went in. So once I pulled up, I seen like this corner over here was just getting blowed out. So that's why I came over to this side. Battery's on 3%. GoPro's about to die. I'm sunburnt. I'm crispy right now. <laughs> it's all good though. Whoa, all right. <laughs> Last one of the day. Oh, and he's a fighter. All right, all right. Nice little slab hand, hand size one again. That's gonna be the last one of the day. Come on, calm it down. Calm it down. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. They're always here. They always want my fish, but they can't have it. <laughs> oh, everybody always says that. Always says it. Never fails. That's my load today, boys and girls. Uh, I don't know how many's in there, but uh, yeah, it's been real. I'm gonna go cook some up. Yeah, buddy. Alright y'all, want to shout out to these two right here for subscribing to me. Uh, that's about it for the day. Caught a bunch of bait fish and uh, what's your name? Brandon. Brandon. Trenton. Trenton. Big shout out to them for subscribing and uh, I'm going to catch you guys back at the house. Let's fillet some of this bait up. Alright. A little pin fish right here. Let me grab my knife real quick. Got the old Shimano. So I'm gonna do this, um, which I'm not gonna do a lot of them. I'm gonna do it two different ways. I'm gonna try to do it this way, from the head, follow down the spine. They're not gonna be big fillets, I'll tell you that. But then again, like when you do bluegill and stuff like that, it's not really, uh, not really big fillets anyways. So basically I'm going to go like that, basically down to the tail, I'm going to leave a little bit, I'm going to peel this back, and the other way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to go straight through the bones, which is quicker, a lot quicker actually. Go ahead and take this cut right here, this 
like that. And I'm just gonna keep peeling this back like this. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just peeling it on back, peeling it on back. Just like that. that little tiny flays I left the skin I, I left that little spot right there so I can grab onto it and flip it around flex your knife boom nothing but skin left on that got a little bit of bone right there a little pin bone boom gone that's what you got left a little tiny filet that looks like a bluegill bluegill filet maybe uh, about the same I guess there you go that's no bones it's all all little meat right there a little bluegill or a little pinfish filet so I'm gonna do a couple of these and uh, I'm gonna fry them up totally forgot to try it the other way let me try it the other way real quick basically I'm gonna go right through the bones and everything not uh, not peeling it back this time. This time I'm just gonna cut like that down to where you feel the bones, and then you're gonna go right through it. Okay, you're gonna stop right there, give it the old flip, and get your knife, flex it, and then boom, just like that. Go ahead and cut this out. I'm gonna, that's like a rib cage. And that's what it looks like. Not very big, but I think in the grease, I think it's gonna be good, to be honest with you. I'll be completely honest with you. Let's do that again real quick. Go down, turn your knife, and just go right through the bones and all. All the way down, oops. Oh well, I can still I can still get it. I can still get it. Let's see. Let's see my let me see my fillet skills real quick. Oh, I still got it. Still got it. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. Cut this little rib cage part out right here. Bada bing, bada boom. That's what you got. You got a little filet. And I'm only going to do a couple of these, like I said, because I I need it as bait. I'd rather use them as bait than uh, than eat them. So, but I did. I, I wanted to try it, so I'm going to give it. A, I'm going to give it a whirl. All right. So if you're new to the channel, this is how I do all my fish. I do chicken like this as well. I uh, soak all my fish in uh, Frank's Red Hot and uh, let it sit in there. It doesn't matter how long. I mean. The longer you let it sit, the better it gets, I, I think. And then I uh, put a little Slappy Mama and uh, my flour dredge. Basically what you do is you take that fish, take it out of this bag, put it in this bag, leave a little bit of air, shake it up, get it all coated nice and well. And then over here, we got the oil bubbling, ready to go. So uh, I'm gonna toss them in there. See if this uh, oil is hot. I'm pretty sure it is. I can see it bubbling a little bit. Oh yeah, just take a little flour, drop it in there. So uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take our little uh, little pinfish fillet right here and uh, drop her down in the grease. Ooh boy! I think it's gonna be good. What y'all think? I ain't gonna lie, it smells good. It smells great, actually. First batch is done. Let me go ahead and grab one. Show you what it, what it looks like. Woohoo, buddy. Come on, focus. Focus. Oh, well, it's not gonna focus. Bluegill. Tastes like bluegill. Penfish is the bluegill of the ocean. 
not gonna lie, it's pretty good. All right, it's really good. Be careful of pin bones. Besides that, it's fire. All right. Anyways, please uh, give this video a big thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification, that way you're always updated. And I'm going to catch you all in the next one. It's amazing. Holler.